Dios. Ajá. Sí. was the limit. It was big. You know, no one had lived there in at least a month. Bueno, yo... De acuerdo, pero... ¿Y si...? Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause to separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. Well, this is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate and ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So it was something fun. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out. Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Behold, our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999? Absolutely.
Behold, the wonders of technology. A 3D printer? This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of lethal weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big-ass drone. And Wrench? Good engineer, too. But better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator, or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sec go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to, you know. Nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom.
VetSec found Josh. Hot sauce. Posting anti-CTOS videos on invite. Kid had a plastic Halloween mask over his face. A skull. But like the worst dollar store skull you could find. You could see his eyes through it. Big no-no when it comes to avoiding a profiler. He had a distorted voice, but he didn't change his speech patterns. See, Josh, he's high-functioning autistic, which means he's got a very specific way of talking. Sitar found him easily, but he wasn't at all what we expected. When you get down to pure coding, Josh operates on a higher level than the rest of us. We got to look at his CTOS profile, and all kinds of nasty flags popped up. Emotionally challenged, unstable, even a low mental maturity score. He's none of those things, and he quickly became the activist soul of our group. He has a black and white way of seeing things, fair and unfair, which means he can be refreshing and often hilarious. We caught a glimpse of the damage CTOS dealt him. Rejected care programs, cut funding, overcharges. We offered to help him make things right. When we met Josh, he had the right intentions and the wrong approach, like a laser putting on a pretty light show instead of burning holes. If Bloom's system wants to make him unemployable, damn straight we're gonna snatch him up and point him right back at him. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote... ...a new book of his art and a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Very exciting stuff. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DedSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Keepster Merchant! <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DedSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. It's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. And maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? Rich motherfucker. I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this!
perdido, no hay bronca. Marcus, guys, the cyber driver trailer just dropped. Oh, yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the hacker's ways. I'm on my way. Marcus, have you seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. Right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, nah, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything. I'm not working for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber driver. Hit him with the code for a chip. Jimmy Siska is. Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me or die. Devon Von Devon. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devon. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber driver. Action hero, badass. Talking car, admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is gonna help us do it. Real? It wouldn't have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec, and we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, cyber child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is cyber driver. Cyber driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence, and that we can't excuse. It seems like you could do with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set.
Oh, damn. I I'm fucking clumsy, man. You guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. They're fun to laugh at. Cool, you said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galilei allow their name to be sullied? You mean cyberized? You can keep trying, but it will never be funny to me. I'm not gonna lie. If those scenes were what they chose for the trailer, yeah, the rest of it's gonna be jack shit. And why they chose to target DeadSec is curious. Well, Chicago was a big deal. True. Anyway, don't worry. You and me are prowling the information highway to seek out our own cyber justice. Look, Josh, we're gonna have fun with this. And I promise I won't say cyber anymore. You know, after this, the cyber world will never be the same. <laughs> And there it is, Hook Motion Picture Studios. Enough of the idiot, stupid bullshit. Yes. Catch that? Tour. I'm telling you, she loved it. She recognized more sets than I did. That's where they shot the mistress sandwich. That's Stay alert! Looks like he slipped by. Better call it in. I know you can hear me. 
You don't get to see something like this every day. Uh... Oh my god, what? <laughs> Found it. We got the full scripted cyber driver. Okay, guys, I'm in.
Hey, boo. That one's on me. Hey guys, we have a spill at the honey wagon. Can you send some of you clean up this mess? Here we go. Found the emails. Mmm, nice. The not-so-secret emails. Well, seems I got everything. What about the car? It isn't here. We'll have to track it down some other way. I'm heading out now. Hey guys, I found an email that says the car is being delivered to a location, but doesn't say where or when. That's okay. I think I have a backup plan.
Marcus. I have a paparazzi contact who knows where the car is. He's waiting for you. We'll give him whatever he asks for out of that email dump. He's good for it. Sure. You have a paparazzi contact? <laughs> is there anyone you don't know? That's me. Social butterfly.